Although this initial testing of the Universal Aero Kit was done in Speedway configuration, there's also been major changes made in the road course and short oval versions as well. Now the goal was the same, try to get more underside downforce and get rid of some of this topside turbulent downforce so the racing can be more competitive. But unlike on a super speedway that already had 75% of the downforce from underneath, the road course version last year only had 47. So that has now been up significantly and it starts here at the underwing. In speedway configuration, there's a hole here in the underwing that's meant for safety to bleed air in case the nose of the car ever gets in the air, preventing it from doing a front blowover. But with big road course wings in the front and short oval, you have lots of downforce way up front. Not really necessary to have this. So they have panels now. It'll be used to close off that hole. These panels and closing that hole at 280 pounds of downforce. On short ovals, you can also use the lateral domes, which tend to seal the back edge of the underwing to some degree. That gives you another 65 pounds. And by changing the tire ramps, now this doesn't look a whole lot different, but that profile is slightly different. It changes from low drag to higher downforce and feeding that all-important air to the brake ducts. And more downforce has been added to the underwing by using these strakes, which divide the underwing. These are longer revised versions that add 350 pounds of downforce. So that's the significant amount of underside downforce. But look at this rear wing as an example. 73% less flap area and it's lower and no winglets on the side to cause turbulence. When you add all that together, you started with 47%. Now the underside of this car has 66% of the downforce coming from underneath. So if you want thrilling racing, you need to be able to run close together. In a recent test with some of these prototype pieces, the following distance in Phoenix was cut in half. Oh.